Now we need to create a new setup to machine the bottom of the part. We are going to flip the part over and machine the second side. So this will be a second operation on the CNC machine. The stock we will use for this setup should be based on what we have machined to this point. One way to do this is to run the toolpath simulation and then save the state of the machine stock. Right click on setup one in the browser and select simulation. Disable tool, disable toolpath, enable stock. On the player controls, click go to the end of the toolpath. After the toolpath has been processed, right click anywhere in the graphics area. In the pop-up display, move down to stock and from the flyout menu, select save stock. This will save the currently cut stock as an STL file. I'm going to leave the default file name and save it to my desktop. We need to turn this STL file into a solid model that can be used to define our stock. Change the Fusion workspace to Design. From the Insert Toolbar pull-down, select Insert Mesh. Select the STL file. In the Insert Mesh dialog, set the unit type to Millimeter. If you look in your browser under Bodies, you will see Body 1, which is our part, and Mesh Body 1, which will be used to define our stock. Use the visibility icon to turn off the mesh body. You will see the part model underneath. Let's switch back to the manufacturer workspace. Once we flip the part over, we won't be locating from the corner of the stock anymore. Our work coordinate offset reference should be in relationship to one of the features we already machined. Rotate the part so we're looking at the bottom features. Select Setup from the Setup toolbar. Let's start on the Setup tab. The Machine Group area in this dialog is for selecting a machine. If you or someone else has created a milling machine already, you can press Select and pick it from the local folder. If not, we can leave it set to the sample three-axis machine in this sample project. Or you can leave the machine selection blank. Selecting a machine automatically sets the setup operation type. If it's not already, set the operations type to milling. Before we set the work coordinate system parameters, let's go to the stock tab. In the stock model pull-down, select from solid. Over in the browser, expand models, intro to 2D machining, bodies, and you will see body one and mesh body one. Select the mesh body one as your stock solid. Let's go back to the setup tab. In the work coordinate system orientation pull down, pick select Z axis plane and X axis. Change the origin to the selected point and pick the edge of the hole. This will put the XYZ zero at the center of the hole. Then select Flip Z if the Z is not pointing up. Flip X if the X is not pointing to the right. Let's go to the Post Process tab. Change the program name number to 1002. Change the WCS offset number to 2 for the second available work offset. This will give us a G55 for Haas or Fanuc compatible controls. For the comment, enter bottom setup 2. Once that's defined, we can press OK. Let's talk about views and visibility. At the bottom of the graphics area, we have the navigation toolbar. At the far right, there is a group for synchronize active setup. In the pull down, you have Sync View with Active Setup, Sync Visibility with Active Setup. Sync View with Active Setup changes to an isometric view of the plane 
defined in the active setup. Sync visibility with active setup controls the visibility of any models that are used in the active setup. Enable both of these. Immediately, you'll see the mesh body stock model become visible for setup two. Let's make setup one active. You can see the view changes to see our top setup and our mesh body stock model disappears. Now activate setup two and you can see the view change to the bottom and the stock model becomes visible again. For this lesson, disable sync visibility with active setup and then go to the browser to turn off the visibility of the mesh body. Back on the navigation toolbar, let's look at the next one over. Show, hide, leads and links. Let's make setup one active. Select the 2D adaptive toolpath for the open and closed pockets. Let's go into the show, hide, leads and links pull down and disable links. Then disable leads. It's a nice way to limit the visibility of the toolpath motion. Now I can see just the cutting moves. I'm going to turn them both back on now. Let's make setup two active. The next button over on the navigation toolbar is view orientation, but this orientation is in relationship to the active setup plane. If I want to view this from the front based on my current active plane, I can click this face on the view cube. But that says I picked back. Okay, but it gave me what I wanted. Now, if I want to get back to an isometric view, I can press home next to the view cube. You see, that is an isometric view, but it's relative to the CAD top plane. If I go to the navigation toolbar, view orientation, and pick tool isometric, I get an ISO view relative to the current manufacturing setup plane. All of the navigation toolbar view orientation views are relative to the setup plane. In this lesson, we covered creating a simulation stock model for our next setup, visibility of our solid models, view control by setup, model visibility by setup, toolpath display controls, and view controls by the active setup machining plane. Press Control-S to save the part, Command-S on the Mac.